I cannot believe that I am having to make this video. I cannot believe that this is happening. I... Uh, I'm going to start by saying I am not a fucking pedophile. I, Shane Yaw, my real name, go on record saying I am not a fucking pedophile. Got it? Great. What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So that was a pretty intense clip from the YouTuber Shane Dawson. And for those of you who haven't been, I don't know, on the internet today, um, this is a clip from Shane Dawson's defense and his statement about not being a pedophile. He was being accused by um, a, a source who says they have proof, but there's not really proof. Um, the internet's crazy these days, but Real quick, this video was brought to my attention by my beautiful girlfriend. Um, and shameless plug real quick, check out this amazing picture she did of Shane and Ryland. So pretty awesome, right? So show her some love, go follow her on Instagram. The tag's right there, tag.doodles. But anyways, back to Shane. So if you're new here, if this is your first time at my channel, I have a mental health channel. So I'm not gonna get into the is he or isn't he or anything like that, but I will say, I don't think he is. But anyways, I'm not here to gossip about that. What I'm here for is to talk about mental health because this is a really big deal. This is huge. Like. Shane is visibly upset about this and for good reason. And this isn't the normal, I'm upset because people are accusing me of things. It's not like, you know, Bob said I stole his sandwich out of the fridge in the break room. It's not like that. This is a, a big accusation, but it's also triggering something that's pretty traumatic for Shane. And before I dive into it, I'll let him explain right here. So. I was like, I'm, I need to talk about this because I talk about child molesters in Hollywood a lot on my channel. It's something I'm very passionate about. Um, and I'm not going to turn this into like a me too moment or like a feel bad. I'm not going to turn this into that because that's not what I'm trying to do with this. Um, but you guys know, I've talked about it so much on my channel. I was molested. You know this. I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about shedding light on the fact that there are people in Hollywood that have molested kids and have been arrested for it and are still working in Hollywood. That's proof. So yeah, like Shane just said, he is somebody who was molested as a child. And if you do watch his channels, he does talk a lot about child molestation in Hollywood. This is something that he's passionate about. Same way I'm passionate about mental health, addiction recovery and all that, Shane is passionate about exposing some of the crazy stuff that goes on when it comes to child pedophilia. And this this hits, this hits me too, just because I look back and I have my own triggers where, man, like all of us, we have those certain buttons that you can push. And me, as, it's, as the son of an alcoholic mom, when people would accuse me of being a bad father, like I would just, fill with rage like it was a completely different version of Chris now something that I've done as far as improving my mental health is I know how to deal with that now and I do hope that um, Shane is working through this but you can see just by typing this into YouTube the massive amounts of support that Shane is getting but not all of you out there watching this like if this is something that you've struggled with being accused of things that are triggering you and you're getting upset I want you to kind of look how this relates to you. So some people who came to Shane's defense were Shane's friends, Jeffree Star and Manny. They are other YouTubers who have makeup channels, they're makeup artists, and they came to Shane's defense right here on Twitter. And those of you who don't follow uh, Shane's channel, like Shane is such a good dude. Like this guy, Bobby Burns was somebody who made this hate video on Shane and Shane flew him out to his house and they talked it out. They actually did some collabs and Bobby's channel blew up. But anyways, here's a clip from Bobby Burns. 12, 13, 14. That's 14 swipes over on the Twitter moment before you get to any, any kind of actual defense against what 
he's being accused of. That's ridiculous. So in moments like these, one of the things that we have to do, one of the things we absolutely have to do, and it's crucial for any kind of form of mental illness, whether it's just regular anxiety or depression, it doesn't have to be some kind of PTSD experience. We have to lean on the people who love us and care about us. We have to lean on those people. What what this does is it helps us shut out the noise of the rest of the world. Like we live in a messed up world. Like that's that's just the cut and dry of it all. And one of the reasons I make this channel is to try to try to help people out just little bit by bit. But we live in a world with a bunch of messed up people, and they like to talk about drama and start drama and start controversies and all sorts of stuff. And that's when we rely on the people who love and care about us. And this is one of the reasons, this is one of the main reasons why you need like a very good support group. You need people who are there to pick you up when you fall, not people who turn their back on you when things get rough. You know what I mean? So if this is happening to you, like make sure that you have a strong support group out there. But other than that, there's a ton of other videos I have on my channel um, talking about how to deal with anxiety, how to deal with depression, um, how to you know deal with addiction recovery, all sorts of stuff, you know. But um, if you're new to my channel, like make sure you click this little round subscribe button right below this box because I'm always making just general videos to help you out with your mental health. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks so much for watching. Check out some of the videos. Click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there, all right? But anyways, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, and I'll see you next time.